What if the urgency and nighttime trips that disrupt your sleep aren't random at all, but a sign that your magnesium is running low and your bladder is overfiring? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Magnesium controls more than 600 processes that keep your muscles and nerves steady. And when it drops, overactive bladder can surge. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking at why magnesium status predicts bladder control, and how restoring balance can reduce sudden urges, leaks, and nighttime bathroom visits. I'm Alara Skye. Overactive bladder affects about one in six adults, and the ripple effects reach your sleep, focus, and confidence. Recent research connects the dots between magnesium depletion, irritated bladder tissue, and nerve overactivity. The takeaway is straightforward. When you correct depletion, you often calm the bladder. A large analysis of 28,621 U.S. adults from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey used a magnesium depletion score that reflects long-term status better than a simple blood test. For every single point rise in that score, the odds of overactive bladder increase by 9%. Grouped comparisons told the same story. Mid-range depletion, meant a 17% higher risk, and the highest depletion landed at 20% higher risk compared to low depletion. That dose response matters because it shows a gradient, not a fluke. Even small improvements can translate into meaningful change when so many people are affected. The association held after adjusting for age, race, education, income, smoking, alcohol, diabetes, and heart disease. Magnesium stood out as its own factor, not a proxy for something else. Mechanistically, magnesium acts as a natural calcium blocker in your cells. When you're depleted, calcium pours into muscle cells unchecked, and your bladder contracts too often and too intensely. That's the sudden urge, the leak during the day, and the wake-ups at night. Replenishing magnesium helps the detrusor muscle relax and steadies the nerve, signaling that drives urgency. Inflammation compounds the problem. Low magnesium ramps up inflammatory proteins and oxidative stress that further sensitize nerves and irritate bladder tissue. If your urgency flares with stress, concentrated urine, or certain triggers, this inflammatory layer can make symptoms feel out of proportion to your fluid intake. A second N-H-A-N-E-S-based study of 32,493 adults confirmed the connection and extended it. Those with the highest magnesium depletion scores had over a 40% increased likelihood of overactive bladder compared to people with no depletion. Risk built steadily with each step of depletion, reinforcing that incremental progress, point by point, can lower your odds. The empowering part is that magnesium depletion is modifiable. Unlike age or genetics, you can change it. That begins with identifying what's draining your levels. Acid reflux drugs, diuretics, regular alcohol intake, and kidney stress all pull magnesium out of your system. When you list these factors and track them like a scorecard, you create specific targets to remove or reduce. Food still matters, but don't expect it to finish the job on its own. Even with organic choices, modern soils are magnesium poor. While many lists push nuts and seeds as magnesium sources, they're high in linoleic acid, which the article flags for interfering with energy production and driving inflammation. Use food as supportive context, but plan on supplementation to fully replete your levels. Finding your personal threshold is the next step. Start with magnesium citrate, because it's well absorbed and gives you a clear signal. Loose stools, when you've exceeded your dose. Increase slowly until you notice that sign, then back off slightly. That's your individualized ceiling. Once you've mapped it, shift to forms that deliver benefits without upsetting digestion. Choose targeted forms based on your needs. Magnesium glycinate is calming and easier on your stomach if stress, anxiety, or poor sleep are part of the picture. Magnesium malate supports energy production and can help if fatigue, brain fog, or muscle soreness are prominent. Magnesium L3N8 is used for cognitive support, 
with an eye toward memory, focus, and deeper sleep. Pair magnesium with bladder smart habits to multiply results. Reduce caffeine and alcohol. Both overstimulate the bladder and can blunt the calming effect you're trying to build. Schedule timed bathroom visits to retrain reflexes rather than reacting only to urgency. Add pelvic floor exercises to improve control and keep hydration steady so your urine isn't overly concentrated and irritating. If the percentages sound small, remember the baseline burden. With one in six adults affected in higher direct costs for those with overactive bladder, even modest shifts in risk become substantial in real life. A few points down on a depletion score can mean fewer leaks at work, uninterrupted meetings, or a quiet night's sleep you notice the next morning. Consistency is more valuable than a quick fix. Because both studies showed a dose response across all levels, not just at the extremes, you don't need perfection to see benefits. Each step away from depletion tightens control. That could be reducing an alcohol habit that silently drains your reserves or switching to a magnesium form you'll actually take every day. It's also useful to view magnesium as foundational rather than a standalone cure. When you calm muscle overactivity and lower inflammatory irritants, your other strategies work better. Timed voiding sticks. Pelvic floor training produces steadier results. Hydration helps instead of triggering more trips. You stack small wins that add up to a different daily experience. If you're unsure where to begin, start with a brief audit. Write down any medications that deplete magnesium, your weekly alcohol pattern, and symptoms like urgency, frequency, and nighttime waking. Use that list to select a magnesium form, set a starting dose with citrate to find your threshold, and commit to one supporting habit, such as cutting afternoon caffeine. Today's challenge is clear and practical. Map your depletion drivers, establish your magnesium threshold with citrate, then transition to glycinate, malate, or L-threonate based on your needs. Pair that with one bladder-friendly habit, reduced caffeine, scheduled bathroom visits, pelvic floor work, or steady hydration, and track changes in urgency and nighttime trips for two weeks. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.